welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing well hope you're having a magical day and this week's today even more magical because today we're doing the mesh and i'm very excited because we're gonna do a suggestion of yours you guys wanted me to check out the story of one sky which i think is one of his uh very recent ones yes it's a month ago he made this he published this a month ago and i am quite excited to see what this is gonna be about um also go ahead and suggest the next one because anything you suggest usually goes towards what i like when it comes to analyzing music videos trying to interpret the more artistical parts of it since i'm studying animation i love art and all that so yeah if you go towards and suggest stuff i usually really like it because you know what i've seen already and i like and since you know most of his stuff it will be easier that way but yeah thank you until now I've just had fun with everything you suggested so quite interested to see how this is gonna go we're gonna turn on subtitles as well to see the lyrics and we'll start let's go whoa Okay, so we're introduced to this part. This is quite interesting. It's also very long. Wow, I just realized it is 13 minutes long. So this is like a story. The story of one sky. I mean, in the title it says that, but like, uh, this could also be like the title of a song. But it does seem to be quite like a little story, a little narrative, like very in-depth and stuff. So interesting. <laughs> Interesting composer he composed this. This is interesting. I think it's one of the first times or second time I listened to something he composed. Uh, he does write lyrics. I know that, I think. Uh, but we usually listen to other compos compositions uh, when he's performing the lyrics. So this is very interesting. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. So, first of all, I love his voice that is very airy and very whispery. 
to begin with he usually does that but i feel like here it's very appropriate because it reminds me of i don't know the sea and how the sea has that light sound of the 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 um, waves hitting the sand and all that like it's quite that sound um but yeah i also want to i need to comment on the fact that this boy just grabbed the blades that you use to cut very sharply stuff and make them into necklaces and i'm very scared i'm guessing this is before he drowned uh yes i am very scared right now i don't i have the urge to do like take that out of your head please oh my god i can't <sighs> But also beautiful, like, story with the lyrics beginning. It's very, like, childlike beginning of, like, birth and all that, like... Oh, fuck, okay, 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 okay. Billions of lives should endeavor to do senseless horror so disembarked on for all the they should fall. As a ruler, my task is to keep order and protect my country. But I don't deprive you of your freedom. The world is open for me. And I want to give it to you. This is very, like, interesting. We're going deep into a very, like, Oh my god, okay. Wow. Um, so going off of his voice, I love how there's a bit more power, but still he has very faded endings and quite a, an airy tone. Beautiful. Beautifully performed. I don't know exactly where we're going with this and who's who, because that's one of the boys, but we don't know who. I'm guessing it's... I can't really guess and I'm not sure exactly to which part of history this is connoting it might just be one war or it might just be something very specific that's where I'll need your help um I am not aware of how many or if any uh wars have gone through Kazakhstan I'm guessing if Dimesh made this he would have mentioned it for his country so i'm guessing it has to do with kazakhstan um but yes quite interesting i love the choice is that i think that is actually dimish like i think you can see is this i think it is him i don't know by by the nose i've, I've painted him so i feel like i know his face <laughs> we'll see uh i'm also painting him digital if you guys are interested uh not this week next week saturday uh but yes i feel like that is dimash maybe anyways um i love how we're playing with like we're starting this scene off and it seems like you're in a video game because it's like foreground background and the character like like it's very also like t like it's a pan tracking shot in a way and it just drags along with it and then it switches and then it's a bit more realistic when it switches but it all starts very video game childlike ish which would connote that this also is kind of like you know all the speeches and everything but in the end people actually die and then it transfers into the video game idea, but like in real life that happens and it's all good. So there's this whole interesting motive. And then again, like the symbol here and then the symbol there. The whole thing, it's very smoothly transferred to like connote that it's like 
child thoughts and all the innocent parts and innocent sides of the story but then also the realistic cut to like this is actually reality we're gonna connect to it now like the character gets into the whole action and you see that it's not just a game it's real life and all that blah 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 very beautifully like portrayed and like tracked to show that i like that <laughs> That is the mesh. I was right. And he's playing one of the boys growing up, doesn't he? I, I bet he is. Um, but yes, I love the lyrics here. I love how we have the officers and the heads of everything talking as if in a megaphone, like in their heads, like all that kind of brainwashing sometimes that happens. All that ha did happen in previous wars um going on i love that we have that portrayal because it's important sometimes to mention it because it's sad to see things happen like that i love the the shots like the cinematography is beautiful like even here like we have that and then comes smoke it's all covered by smoke as if like this just happened and like oof, it eats you up like the smoke comes in and just like covers the whole thing up i love that we're not cutting and we're just transferring also the camera here it is beautifully done and then we get into a building and we see something different i love the whole cinematography here that it's like one shot of the whole environment and every every action in one shot like it's beautifully done and usually one shot actions are not like easy to pull off if something goes wrong you have to redo the whole thing it's interesting how the lyrics are talking we decide to follow the light and we have a war going on a battle You can hear him from the megaphone saying, You must be strong. Oh, God. Oh, it seems very interesting because in the megaphone they're saying, Anyone who resists, as if doesn't fight that is ah i hate that uh when you ask for peace but you create peace using war i hate that but like it's so sad when you can't avoid it it's it's you can't but like you know the world is built so the few can survive and the wealthy can go on and then you have the poor that don't and you're like Ugh. yes the world we live in is not a fair one okay i'm not happy about it but it is the truth i love the faded long note here and the dragging of it beautifully it's as if like is singing part of the pain part of the action uh it's also very interesting how he hasn't gone full out uh but we have a battle scene he could have gone completely dramatic and just like given this whole thing huge power but i feel like i get why he doesn't a obviously it's the beginning of the song but he has gone full power from the beginning of the song before 
Let me tell you why I think he doesn't do this now. We have this whole portrayal as if it seems like it is a video game. There's a lot of breathing space, and even though this is shot in one shot, this player has had a lot of time to just go through, get in without problem, and shoot that one person only. And here we just have this whole thing, like the pain, the action, this, this whole like narration is like that one main character going on. So it's like a fairy tale, a story, fantasy, a video game, all that child thought continuing on. It's not as like, let's say, realistic or like full on life. Again, the camera shots shooting into the building like that it's like pov of a soldier like a first person point of view um and yeah that's just the whole thing i feel like is quite lightly taken and seen uh we'll see if it gets harsher but i feel like that is that is why we we're getting a bit of a lighter beginning Not by the place next to us. i love the blending up there and then down. War is the way to unite people. I hate that phrase. <laughs> that phrase makes no sense, obviously. <sighs> How do you unite people? Like why? To like bring specific nations together to like destroy somebody else? How, do, how are you united? You're united as one nation. But there's other nations. What do you want? To divide between nations? To be united within nations? <sighs> yes. This does not make sense yet. Yet we do it. Yet this is, this is what we are. <sighs> yes, I hate the phrase. I hate just the fact that he mentioned it. War is the way. To unite people. I love the pause here though and the no lyrics. Very appropriate. And I love that he's starting a bit deeper here. I was right. That was Dimish. Except if the shoulder's not hurt. Let's see. I do hate seeing like the higher ups just like deciding the post. It's so annoying when you have a war. Every, every time you get a war, it's because the higher powers want more power and blah blah blah, and the people are paying for it. And they're like, oh, let's attack here, and this is the only way. It's, it's so, so sad. I know sometimes there's no way around it. But like, really, it's a topic I do not want to discuss, and ugh, it just keeps on happening. We we keep having it right now. It, it it's like a war within a country. It's a war against like two countries against each other. Every time, it's neither situation is good. Ooh, learn to share again the love. Hmm, interesting. I love how he went deeper, uh, connoting that we're getting a bit more serious with it. And we're gonna get more, like, things revealed to us. And we're uh, talking about sharing love again. Which obviously is not the whole narration here, because it's sharing blood, <laughs> apparently. And spilling it. There we go. So this is one of the children. The other woman was the girl and... The other guy is the higher up. Oh my god. So you have the higher up who is just giving the instructions. You have the point of view of the soldier who is fighting for his life. 
and the innocent, completely harmless people without weapons in the middle of everything. And apparently wars okay. Yeah. It's interesting how this could connote to any kind of like trust believe but then you have the whole like believe and trust and that person being that trust and uh, the higher up like that person just seems like uh, so out of their mind but because you have that trust that belief it sometimes just it makes you think that it's it's right what you're doing but it's it's not you just have to keep on believing though because there's no other choice at this point and it's so sad and i hate it and i love that he's going on a high note here because even though this scene could have been just like any kind of random oh we want to just rem remind you that these are the kids no it's because of that it's because of like you know you have that belief going around and it's very important to like mention it it's like you know, it's how, like, some religions uh, over the years would get too carried away with their beliefs and it would go too far. It's like this, in this case, let's say this belief has gone too far. Uh, I feel like there's always, like, a limit to things. And it's really important to understand that limit. Because if you don't, you you get to this point and you kind of lose what's going on and it's so sad but yes uh let's go on to like how he's building up his vocals here i love how he went up held it and then went deeper and lower It makes me think from seeing this until now that we have two sides. I think uh, Dimesh is supposed to be one of the boys, but he is a rebel. And I don't know if the guy, the other boy growing up, is supposed to be like a higher power, is a good guy or not. And he's just like not aware that part of the city he wants to capture is where his childhood friend is and we're gonna get that point of view or something else i'm not sure yet but i love how we got more intense with the song more powerful vocals uh we're starting to build up something and i'm seeing a lot more realistic like angles a lot more straight up like rushing a lot of like camera like just cutting and like traveling like movie angles to the point where like you know it makes it seem less of a video game as feeling to more of a movie but also real life kind of scenery I 
just realized that. Sorry. I'm good. Nope, we're not. We're not gonna cry. I'm already tearing up. <laughs> you can hear it in my voice. I'm sorry, I just realized that the girl wearing one of the pendants has probably, like, been killed already. <sighs> so sad. This is depicted so well. It is impossible to not cry to. Wow. Because you have the girl just left alone now here. And I don't even want to think if the soldiers are, like, cruel enough to, like, won't go further with it. I don't want to think about that. I love that he goes lower here and fades it all more because it's at the point where everything's like kind of like gone. It's at the stage where a lot of people have already died and he's already gone too far. Okay, that was a beautiful high note. I loved that. That was so powerful. I also love how dramatic that change was. interesting how we travel to this kind of scene it's very different oh. i'm guessing this is the the war between the two is lost and one of the sides gets to go to try and go back like leave something something and then like i don't know why that though the, like that destroyed building and then you had like the woman giving birth i don't know what that specifically would come out to i'm not sure yet oh no it says it's it's the girl isn't it I love what they did that. I love how they did this. This is so beautifully done because you have a cry of pain when you give birth and all that and you create life and then you have when you kill and when you take away a life a different version of that cry. That is beautifully interpreted and I love how they did that oh it's so dramatic they are on point with this <laughs> love how dimish's vocals and melodies are going towards a more like traditional static sound uh i love that i'm getting that feeling from the scenery as well
oh, it's the two instances, like, it's her giving birth to the child and the child, oh my god, they've, they've gone so on point with this, it is, oh my god, it hurts how perfectly well they've done this, oof, wow, I also love Dimish's high notes, his whistle notes here are beautiful, oof, they're, they're high notes, they're not, I think they're not close to whistle notes yet, but like, oh gosh. They're close. They're there. I think they're whistle notes here. But I'm not sure, no. No, there's no way, right? There's no way the guy in charge is the same guy as the person Dimash is playing, right? Because we did have two boys. <sighs> there's no way, right? It's not like Dimash afterwards became that hurt that he went for revenge in that sense, right? No way, right? It's not that. Because in that case, we need to find the other boy, which we don't know where he would be. <sighs> but you never know. In a metaphorical sense, it could be. And they connected this way. Oh my god! Okay, first of all, I loved that session of high notes, especially in that specific moment. There was nothing more perfect. This was done. I cannot believe like the amount of brainstorming and like working around this super closely to have every detail match up so well it must have been insane because this is just like a whole story that matches both music and cinematography and camera angles in a perfect way to showcase something so delicate that does not get the right representation most of the times and does not get the, ad the address it gets here. Sorry for the camera shaking. <sighs> Oof. It is insane. I love that we address the issue and what's wrong here. Uh, and it's so annoying and so interesting how after the soldier also dies, but in like a more brutal and aggressive way as if ev because everyone's shooting at him. So it's not just one bullet. It's so many, and you see it, and it's unbelievable. And I love how we connected it back to this. Like, that is insane. <laughs> also, a connection to that could be the... Babies are usually, you know, burn uh, in the belly, in the womb, or in water. They're swimming in water. So there's that connection with the water as well, which is very interesting. And you have that directly after the shot.
Okay. I love that. I love how crazy passionate he sounds here. And that long pause with no lyrics is beautiful. You can hear the vibration in his voice for the first time. He is ex exaggerating to that extent and it is insane. From the point that he starts saying choosing, his voice is like there and it is insane. Beautiful. Dialogue understanding and just emotion of share of trust, acceptance of others, and of living together peacefully would contribute contribute significantly to reducing many economic, social, political, and environmental problems that weigh so heavily on a large part of humanity. True. Dialogue. I love that it's like dialogue and then there's a comma that like that is key talking things out is a lot better than how this whole thing was gone for and dealt with I love how he addressed a very serious situation and something that we should stop but I, I don't know if people can just randomly do that obviously <sighs> I wish we could it would be very nice but you see it's not up to just like the simple folks it's the higher-ups and usually the higher-ups don't care because they have other motives that don't involve other people in a good way. They just involve them in like doing their dirty work. It's it's annoying. I loved how this was interpreted and like presented. I love all the references. Um, I must say the ending probably had more meanings uh, that I didn't. Um, This was so overwhelming. If I just watched the whole thing in one go, I just would be crying. At, but I feel like I wouldn't be able to understand as many things as I did pausing it. And just subtracting things and connecting things together. I feel like 
for me stopping it even if it was too much stopping for you guys you can go watch the original obviously my links the links to the video are obviously always in the description you can just go click that but for me stopping it where i stopped it was very necessary i got so many things out of it so many connections so many meanings i loved how his voice and the music just drove this whole thing to a whole new level um just again the whole production of this from the beginning from the music from the pausing from just until like the production during like the shooting that whole one shot kind of scene and the whole idea of starting and showing it from those angles as if it was a video game to then appearing even more realistic with the change of angles afterwards is really just like making this just a masterpiece of a video and worth watching those 30 minutes oh so worth oh my god that is insane beautifully done and insane incredible I loved it. It was such an experience. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was seriously so special. I bet this video is huge. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, click above for notifications. Send next Monday a next video from uh, another video of Dimish's uh, reactions. Be sure to comment one you would like me to check out specifically, which were live or not, and all that. But yeah, for now, bye bye.